this one opportunity to be a part of the biggest reality experiment in Africa. Guys, I think all the guys are fine. Like all the guys are handsome. All the guys are insightful. So I everybody gives you advice, yeah. On how to live your life, how to live your life. Don't you know that life is full of surprises? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's another season of BB Niger, one of our favorite shows. If you know my channel very well, you know I love BB Niger. Let me know even ramble. Let's just go into this. Out of the entrance poll, you were selected. Dare say, handpicked as the chosen few. So guys, on this season, as usual, you know, multi choice doesn't let us put photos, doesn't let us put clips, but we're going to do our best on this channel. We're going to watch this show together. Day July 19, 2020, Big Brother Niger 2020 started. Guess what they call this episode, guys? Don't worry, it's not COVID. Just guess what they call this season, Big Brother Niger lockdown. So we're going to get locked down watching these 20 housemates if they don't increase it later, sure. But today, we got 20 housemates into the house. Ibuka obviously is the host this year. He was wearing a lovely outfit by Mayatafu. I put a picture there. And then obviously, as I told you, this season is called Big Brother Niger Lockdown. The headway sponsor of this season is Betway. And then the gold sponsor, what they call it, is Guinness. So those are two major sponsors for this season. Obviously, there's going to be some cash. There's going to be some gifts. But total is 85 million naira that is this in pounds and this in dollars so when Ibuka came in obviously welcomed everybody there was DJ Neptune on stage as well giving us lovely lovely bedu he then did a tour of the house this house looks fabulous it looks more beautiful than the previous house the chair for the head of house looks like a proper throne like really massive and big and then he also said there was going to be a lot of plot twist on this season the house though we noticed there's a salon in the house I know you're excited to meet the housemates but let me just give you a brief summary of what this season is going to be before we meet the housemates i'll put the timestamp so you know where if you want to just go straight to the housemates you know where to go so this season is going to be 10 weeks so 10 weeks of drama two months and a week which is perfect it's just beautiful let's just go back to our lives really it's going to be something called the best best way wallet i guess that's where they will have money and okay Obuka also mentioned that big brother is going to be able to take some money from them when they break rules like um, punishment kind of thing and then he's going to also be able to reward some people when they do the right things from this their wallet and um, there's going to be a different way for nomination according to um Ibuka, if you have a the full package of dstv or good tv and stuff your nomin your voting is going to have um it's going to be heavier than someone who doesn't have the full package something like that he also said the hoh which is head of house this season is going to be able to choose a deputy hoh so we don't even know the powers that deputy is going to have we don't know but they're going to have the power to choose a deputy and let us meet our housemates so the first housemate they brought on stage was someone who called himself ozoe mena his name on Big Brother for voting and everything is going to be Ozo. He mentioned he is a first class student and this guy looked so good. He mentioned he had three sisters and also he's 27 years of age. A clip of his voice. Next housemate is Victoria. She's London based. Though she says she's proper Niger old. She's not even thinking because of London. She's 23 years old. She said I've never been in a relationship more than six months. <laughs> Let's see if it comes to a bit of her voice. Freedom from what society says we should be. Yeah, she's going to be called V on the show. Number three housemate is Prince. Ibuka asked him, show your prince. He said, yes, his father is a king. So yeah, he's royalty. Also mentioned he has a great sense of style. His voice. It's Nelson. Being on Max means being revealed. It means being open. Number fourth housemate is Lilo. She's a dietitian. She says she's going to help people with weight loss and she says she's very controlling. <laughs> a bit of Lilo's voice. My name is Lilo. Being a mask means no. Yeah, that's it. Number five housemate is someone called, he called himself Timmy and it's Tricky T. So I think they're going to be calling him Tricky T on the show. People who are very proud. They say they're proud. They cannot be friends. He doesn't fit in. He now says something like, I'm too purple to be a jeb. But Ibuka asked him to explain that. He was like, when he's in the, on the mainland, they think he's too much of a jeb. But when he's on the, on the island, they think he's back or something like that. He just said he doesn't fit in basically. So let's see if we can hear a bit of Tricky's voice. I am Tricky T, the new big brother and just five housemates. The sixth housemate was called Lucy. Lucy says she's bringing us fun vibes. That like if you were just high alone, so everybody's going to be watching Big Brother Niger. So guys, let's look out for Lucy because she's going to be giving us the fun times. Let's hear a bit of Lucy's voice. Good evening, the house, 
Yeah, so she has this creaky kind of voice that some people find sexy. The seven is someone who called himself Kid Wired. So Kid Wired is 24. He's from Benue State. He said he's very patient. He hates fights. He's an enigma. He's confident. At the same time, he's arrogant. Because like, oh, this one you're saying you're arrogant. I she's not going to walk against you. Say no, that he's not going to overdo it. He knows when he's doing it. Blah blah blah. So let's hear a bit of Kid Wired's voice. What's up, my people? Is Kid Wired with two Shame. Number eight on the list is Dorothy. Dorothy is from Delta State. She's 24 years old. Um, she would she's kept asking them like, are you going to be a fight person? Or are you going to be a relationship person or a controversy causing person? And then she said she's basically going to be in the middle, a little to the right, a little to the left. That's what Hardy because said on stage. So yeah, let's hear a bit of Dorothy's voice. I'm Dorothy. So we know Max. Dorothy. It was someone who called himself Prince to be cool. He said a third name, but I can't remember the third name. Anyway, he's from Enigo State. He was in a three-way relationship and Ibuka asked him about that he was like in a relationship with two ladies and the two ladies knew themselves and they knew they were in a relationship with him and Ibuka said, I'm going to bring that into the house he said, he doesn't know, he doesn't know Ibuka was like, Shadow do the one deal, <laughs> kick you out so yeah, let's hear a bit of Prince's voice it's being on Max it's like, it's a grand gesture so next is a lady called Watoni so Bathoni is a shoe addict. She speaks English and Swahili. Her mother, um, her mom is Kenyan. I think her dad is Igbo. Um, and she's a designer. She loves style and everything. So let's hear a bit of Bathoni's voice. Bathoni, being unmasked means being revealed. Bathoni is also a mom. Housemates, do you feel lucky? <laughs> Next was Tochi. Hi with beds guys she said he's going to play the game he's going to be himself and he'll be sure there'll be no dull moments with him he also said he's single and he will definitely get into a relationship in the house guys everybody there is so pretty so there's no way we wouldn't have relationships in the house so let's hear a bit of Tucci's voice being on max means you get to see me but, but 12 housemates was katrina so she's supposed to with a three and she's from river stage she she's a boss lady and she wants to become she wants to become famous. Obviously, we go and be with the Nigeria. You want to become famous, but she should have said it out there, which was very okay. Now's voice. James, being a mask. Number thirteen was Eric. Eric is from Edo State. He's twenty-four years old. He said he hates lies. He's a single and he's very open for relationships. To be honest, you don't even need to say open for relationships. Most of them there are. You know how love this love thing now. You never know what will happen until it you know you on the spot so let's hear eric's voice but 14 is someone called erica so we have eric and we have erica this season her other name is ungozi she's an actress she's 26 she has a curious mind she dislikes loud people she dislikes stress she says she's a star and then every other person is just an extra supporting role you know how tacha kim was still that you know she said something like that but not in that kind of like aggressive or crazy way and she said obviously like yeah she's an actress yeah so we're going to see most of it so because like so how we going to know you're not acting you know when you're in the house no you will know it you will know when i'm real when i'm acting so um let's hear a bit of erica's voice it means a sense of vulnerability it means a sense of freedom but 15 is bright o bright o speaks Ibo, Hausa and Yoruba Wazubia boy correct though so he likes to get on people's nerves so that's someone we should watch out for hopefully he'll be able to like, break rules play pranks on people like EK did last year and stuff let's hear Bright O's voice you guys will be the housemates swipe up to get to know me <laughs> Swipe up. He kind of looks like Akin. I follow on Instagram. I'll put all those pictures that you see here. Next, number 16 on the list is Aisha Umar. She's from Sokoto. Ah, everyone's like, so he trekked all the way from Sokoto. She said, Ah, yes. So. Anywho, Aisha is emotional. She's honest and she's a good secret keeper. So she can keep your secrets for you. Eh? You said, You go tell her for the secrets. Anyway, let's hear Aisha's voice. My name is Aisha Umar. I am 24 years of age. I'm Aisha. from Sokoto State. On this number 17 is Neo and Neo is from Worry. Um, Neo is a style enthusiast. He is the show, he is the vibe, he's bringing fresh vibes and he's ready for a relationship. I thought um, Neo has the same surname with Venita. I don't know if they're related in any way, but yeah, they have the Akbofure surname. I realized. Let's hear his voice. Hey, Momo, Luke, on this show, I'm going to be known. 
it's okay bro number 18 is taller the bar she, she came with a bit of swag to be honest like if you're just listening like a radio you'd have really enjoyed her coming in and everything anyway she said she's that ginger babe she's single ready to mingle and then who knows what can happen when it comes to relationships a bit of Tolani's voice Next is someone who called himself Lacon, but he spells it L-A-Y-C-O-N. He also says he's um, a sexual enthusiast. You can ask him what that meant, and he said he just likes having sexual conversations about sex, like sexual conversations, and not like stupid conversations or gossip and stuff like that. I know. You can like, okay, hope that's all you as in. Hope you're not going there to go and practice, and that's not your enthusiastic plan. And then he said, no, no, he just likes having good conversation. And this guy came with t-shirts with like bulbs. As he came in, the car, I was like, ah, ah, electricity, you. This electricity, I'm using battery. And then he was like, no, I guess he just wanted to make a statement. Here a bit of Lecon's voice. Lecon, so being a mask for me is, uh, taking a mask off, being a mask, revelation. Okay, this is just super story. And number 20 on the list, last but not the least, is Nengi. Nengi said there's more to her than her looks. All these looks now facing her jara. She just one dress that was bodycon and it had a high sleep. And she's looking really pretty. And she said, yeah, there's so much more to her that we're going to keep seeing it. Means I hope you enjoyed getting to know all of them. Between the between now and the next one week, I'm going to try and get all their Instagram handles and put in this particular video, the description box of this video. So you can always come back to, to see if you can, like, if you want to get to know them personally and go back to their lives or whatever. All their Instagram handles will be in the description box of this post. Yes, whenever I hear anything interesting, I'll come share with you guys. I can't really promise to give you a video every day. No, I can't promise that. But whenever there's something piping hot, I will either put it here on, on my community. Please subscribe to my channel. If you read this part, support me. So hey, have a good time. And don't forget to come and share your own gist as well. You know, we're in a community. I just have the platform. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please join the family by subscribing and clicking the bell right beside the subscribe button. Oh, you quiver and quits at the first signs of challenges. Thank you so much for watching this. Just click the thumb up button as well so the video spreads all around. Drop a comment because I really love to read from you. See you on the next episode. Bye bye.